This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB Athletics. Presented by Pepsi, a Southern original, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. Welcome to the final Blazers All Access of football season as the Green and Gold will be headed to Shreveport for the Independence Bowl on December 18th. With Coach Clark, I'm David Crane. UAB finished the regular season at 8-4 and four after taking care of UTEP the day after Thanksgiving. It was senior day, final home game at Protective Stadium. Came on the heels of a tough loss to UTSA. I know you knew the Blazers were going to finish well. Yeah, I did. I, I knew. I know our guys. I know our coaches. And, you know, we had, you know, like, you, you know it and I know it. We had a lot of things going on. We had some sickness. We had some other stuff, some injuries. But I knew our guys were going to fight. Bit of a slow start the day after Thanksgiving. It felt like everybody was maybe a little full on turkey in that first quarter. But Dwayne McBride started the scoring. 17-yard touchdown run in the first quarter. His only score of the day, unfortunately, after going down in the second quarter. Yeah, boy, I think he was right at 100 yards when it happened and, you know, in one quarter. So we were, that would have been exciting to see what he did. Uh, not a season-ending injury, so we should get him back. But uh, it was tough at the time. Jermaine Brown tied things at 14 in the second quarter, the first of three scores for him in the game. Boy, he really stepped up for you, didn't he? He did when we, were, when we needed him, and that's what you want to see is people step up when they're needed. After trailing 17-14 at the half, UAB took the lead for good midway through the third quarter. Another Jermaine Brown run. Boy, and then special teams and turnovers really came into play. They did, you know, and our special teams had two big plays, and that's what we want. We want to make a difference with special teams. Hayden Pittman caught his first touchdown of the year to make it 28-17. Nice to see the tight ends get in the end zone. Garrett Prince put the final points on the board early in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you know, we've, t we've tried to grow the tight end position, uh, getting them more involved throughout the year, and then to get both of them involved was a big deal. Defense did the rest as UTEP managed just 303 total yards, and UAB went on to the 42-25 win. Here's some of the highlights from Protective Stadium. Four-yard line. Hopkins play fake, bootleg right, looking to throw back across. It is caught in traffic. Nice grab. Hopkins the snap, turns, hands to McBride, straight ahead at the 15, stays on his feet at the 10, cuts right at the 5, and pulls his way to the goal line. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, UAB. In the backfield, Hopkins the snap, gives to Brown, running left. He'll walk 10 for the touchdown. Full house backfield, they give it. Nope, keep it, throw back of the end zone, wide open for the touchdown. Make it second and six. McBride again, this time running right across the 30, 35. Flags are down. McBride still running midfield. Far side 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Brown the running back. He gets the handoff straight ahead. He powers it in for the UAB touchdown. Hopkins, the shotgun snap, swings it out left flat. Lucius at the 35, 40 with blockers to the 45. High, short, very short, near side. It's going to land at the 20. That ball's free and covered by the Blazers at the 15-yard line. Man in motion, that's Pittman. Hand off Brown, running left. Got the first down to the five. He'll race into the end zone for the touchdown. Six to play. Blazers start this drive at their 27. They start it with Lucia Stanley running right, cutting left. 40, near side at midfield. Hardison takes the shotgun snap. Four-man rush. He'll throw deep down the near sideline and intercepted. Blazers wrap up the holiday with a win. And they close out the regular season with their eighth victory of the year as Bill Clark and Dana Demmel shake hands across the way. The Blazers finish off the 2021 regular season with a 42-25 win over UTEP. The highlights are brought to you by Viva Health. 25% cash back with Pepcoin? I like big bucks and I cannot lie. The kind of cash Pepcoin provides. When I walk down the aisle with a hungry face, seeing things that I want to taste, I get paid. Earn 25% cash back now at Pepcoin.com. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 co-pays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, 
will be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at vivahealth.com slash Medicare. A girl? Daddy's girl. Gonna get that girl a pony. A drum set and braces. Quinceanera. Car? Dream college? Destination wedding? Are we gonna be okay? Ah, regions. It's a girl! 87% of people think about money all the time. Regions makes it easier to get back to the moment. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. UAB picked up win number eight of the season and the 42nd since returning in 2017. Neither offense really put up gaudy numbers, but the Blazers did have the edge on the stat sheet. UAB 328 total yards on the day, 108 passing, 220 on the ground. UA, uh, UTEP finished with 303 yards, 99 rushing, 204 through the air. Kind of similar numbers down the line, but turnovers were critical. You managed to be a plus two in the turnover margin. We know the turnover margin is really the number one stat of the game, and, and you know there's other stats, and, but I, that is the number one. It was big to get those turnovers, no doubt. On the individual side, Dylan Hopkins, 15 of 20, 108, uh, 108 yards, one interception, two touchdowns, efficient once again for you. He was efficient. We continue to see Dylan grow, and, and, and that's what we want to see. Just keep growing, keep you know, limiting the mistakes, and, uh, and he had a good day. Mentioned it, Dwayne was off to an amazing start. 99 yards, seven carries before he got a little bit banged up, but as you said, hope to have him back for the bowl game. We should have him back for the bowl game, yes. Jermaine ran it 16 times for 88 yards and a career-high three touchdowns. Lucia Stanley added 59 yards on seven runs. Always good to see him out there, isn't it? Lucius was, you know, and we talked about Jermaine, but Lucius was great to have. Really gave us a spark when we needed it. On the defensive side, Noah Wilder was added again. He finished with 14 tackles in the game. What a great game. And Noah's the example of a guy that practices like he plays or plays like he practices. You know, he practices really hard and it shows up in the game. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package, at the end of the day, is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. Hey y'all, I'm Riley Green. While performing keeps me busy on the road, Alabama is where I was born and raised and it will always bring me back home to vote. Writing songs allows me to use my voice to tell my story. You too can make your voice heard by registering to vote and obtaining a government issued photo ID. Your civic participation is crucial to the success of us as a state. Together, let's make a difference for Alabama. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Chevrolet. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Children's of Alabama. There weren't really any eye-popping stats from the game against UTEP, and that actually makes our player of the game decision a little easier. The senior class, they are the most successful senior class in UAB football history. I know they will hold a special place in your heart forever. They will, and you've got some guys really that were all the way back to the original start in that 2017 return. You know, they've done so much. They've been really such great ambassadors, not only for UAB football, for, but for our whole university. Always an emotional day, senior day. Great to see them go out in style, and then a lot of them just didn't want to leave that field after we They did. didn't. You know, I sat out there and watched them, and, you know, they took pictures. They enjoyed themselves, and that's what it's all about. A girl. Daddy's girl. Can you get that girl a pony? A drum set and braces. Quinceanera. Car? Dream college? Destination wedding? Are we going to be okay? Ah, regions. It's a girl! 87% of people think about money all the time. Regions makes it easier to get back to the moment. 25% cash back with Pepcoin? 
I like big bucks and I cannot lie. The kind of cash that coin provides. When I walk down the aisle with a hungry face, seeing things that I want to taste, I get paid. Earn 25% cash back now at pepcoin.com. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Legacy Credit Union. After wrapping up the regular season with a win, the Blazers will get one more chance to shine. UAB headed to the Independence Bowl in Shreveport December 18th for a matchup with number 13 BYU. Coach, it's great to be bowling again after not getting the opportunity last year. It is, and this is what we've worked for. Obviously, we've got a really tough opponent, but uh, this is what we've worked for. Cougars come in 10-2 and two on the year. Five of their 10 wins came against the Pac-12. Yeah, they are. They have played a tough schedule. Utah, the big win over Utah. You know, they beat USC to close the year. I mean, they've played big time football. Uh, once again, we're going. We got our work cut out. I don't know about you, but when I hear BYU, I think offense, and that doesn't really change with this <coughs> bunch. Does it, it really doesn't. They 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 run it. They throw it. They throw it deep. Big, just big people too doing it. Defensively, it looks like a solid unit on the stat sheet, but opportunistic, 14 interceptions by that defense. Yeah, they do a good job of, of being in the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, give you a lot of different looks defensively. We are recording this not long after all the bowl destinations were announced. So what does the schedule look like for you and the team going forward as, as far as preparation is concerned? Yeah, so, you know, this week at home, we'll, we'll kind of ease back into it with three to four practices. we got recruiting going on. And then Sunday, we kind of kick off the preparation. Tuesday, we head to, to Shreveport. National stage, big-time opponent. That's really all you can ask for in the postseason, isn't it? It really is. I think this is, you know, uh, we think we've got everything to gain here. And uh, just good, once again, good to be representing our, our program in our, in our city. Kickoff from Shreveport is at 2.30 on the 18th, so the Pepsi pregame show will be on the air starting at 1.30. ABC will televise the matchup. We certainly hope to see lots of green and gold in the stands. Coach, thanks for a great year. Happy holidays and good luck against the Cougars. Thank you. For Coach Clark and everyone at the Blazer Sports Network and down in front productions, I'm David Crane. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season and join us again in January for Blazers All Access. Blazers All Access has been presented by Pepsi, a Southern original, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Blazers Sports Network.